Why do people think objectivism is, quote, too harsh and holds man to unrealistic standards? Um, I, I mean, I don't hear that criticism often. I've heard that kind of criticism, and it is it does say that you should be rational and you should be all the time. Yep. And it does say that the moral perfection is possible, that you should be good all the time. Mm -hmm. And indeed, from objective perspective, those two are the same. To be good all the time is to be rational all the time. Yep. But objectives, from objective perspective, these are chosen states. So to be rational is not to be right all the time. You might make mistakes, you might make errors, but you're actually putting in the effort to think and to try to figure out what's true. You won't always succeed. And so it, its conception of morality is it's chosen. And so it's possible to be morally perfect um, in the sense of, again, rationality doesn't mean you always reach the truth or always reach knowledge or always correct, but you can always be trying. And the conventional conceptions of moral perfection are intimidating because they're impossible. Yep. Um, so if it's that you should have no personal desires and you sub should subordinate your whole life to other people um, or in religious kind of thing, that it's you should have no sexual desires and the, 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 the height of being a moral saint is being devoid of earthly desire and so on. It's people rightly said, like, this is impossible. Or if I have to give everything to other people, like, I need to be dead if I did this. It, it's so the idea that someone tells you you need to be morally perfect is scary. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's no way am I going to do that. So when objectivism says, no, you need to be morally perfect, if the person's translating in his mind, it's so you or whole, want me to try to live up to an impossible standard and say, and you're going to keep criticizing me if I don't. It's all that is um, that's harsh. It is harsh. Yeah, be like are. Jesus, right? Jennifer says, and be like Jesus. Mean mean on a cross like that? Yeah. But there's also the other kind of the libertarian view, which is I think driven by whim worship and subjectivism. It's like you want to limit my whims. You want to you want to tell me I can't just do whatever I feel like doing, and you're harsh. You you want me to be rational, why? Right? You know, but sometimes I just I don't want to be rational. So yeah. it's, I think that's the I hear it more from libertarians this particular view because it 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 they feel constrained. You and they also partially links up to Christianity again. Yeah. They think of morality as command a set of commandments. So they think of objectivism as Ayn Rand has seven virtues, seven commandments. This is what I have to do. And it, so they completely drop the context of, more, of, of the objectivist morality. Um, but yes, it's, it's to protect their whims. It's to protect their whim worshiping. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show. 
at your own book show.com slash support or on Patreon or subscribe star or locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for all for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.